What's up guys, Alexia here with Love is City TV and we're here at Digital Dreams Music Festival and these are DJ's Chocolate Puma. So great to be with you guys today. You guys just had your set almost, uh, just finished almost. How was that? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, Toronto is one of our favorite cities and uh, yeah, we, we, we played quite early so we didn't know what to expect. But as soon as we started, we saw lo lots of people coming in and lots of fans we see all the time in Toronto. So we knew we had to crank it up and uh, do our thing, so yeah. Awesome. What would you say that you like best about Torontonians or Canada in general? What do you find about the Canadian crowd? Uh, we love the Canadian crowd. Uh, maybe it's because they love us, but uh, they're really into the music. They like it, so yeah, we love them. Yeah. That's so awesome to hear. We love you guys just as much, just so you know. So I want to know, how did you get into DJing in the music scene? How did both of you guys find that this was your passion? Um, yeah, quite early in our lives, I think. Uh, like, when I was uh, maybe 16, I started to play at, at school, in school parties. Um, and uh, like, when I was younger, like eight or nine, I started to play piano and drums. And when I heard all these amazing records, I knew, all right, I want to make this kind of music, you know, electronic music. It was just at the start of uh, house music, you know, like 86, maybe 87. Uh, so, yeah, I just love the music and I, I love to share this music with lots of people like, you have to hear this, you know, so that's how I started DJing. Uh, yeah. Awesome. And how did you guys meet up and decide to DJ together? Um, actually, I did, a, I did a radio show, like in the beginning of the house music. I did a, a two-hour uh, house music radio program. Uh, and actually, I thought there were no listeners, but there were listeners. And one of the listeners was uh, Gaston and his friends. So uh, I tried to make some house music that time. And uh, I could play that on my own radio show because, yeah, I'm the boss of the radio show I did so and I, and I said uh, if anybody is making house music and now we are talking about like 25 years ago so there were not much people sending your tapes and I will play them and there was one guy who's sending in the tapes with some friends and <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the first thing we did was a, a radio jingle for uh, for my radio program and everybody was we love the track, you have to do like make a record from that and that's uh, gonna work out as Give It Up. Uh, it's one of our first tracks we did uh, together so yeah that's where it started. Wow that's amazing, sounds like it's been quite the journey for you guys. What do you have coming up in the next year? Anything big, any exciting news? Uh, well, we've been in the studio like in the beginning of the year and, and like till March we have our releases already planned. Uh, so we have releases coming out with Sandra van Dorn, with uh, Oliver Heldens as Hilo, uh, a new one with Tommy Sunshine, um, so lots of stuff. So now is the time for us to be more experimental, you know, so just play around in the studio because we have all these releases already stacked up. So. Uh, yeah, that's always fun, you know, to, to just do music without thinking about you know, what, what, where to play it or where to release it. So that's going on right now with us. Uh. That's super exciting. Um, what's the most memorable moment you've had so far? If you had to sum up one moment on stage during a set, it could be something crazy, it could be something that was just emotional. Like, what's the most memorable moment you've had? Um, well, there are a lot. Uh, but one, uh, <laughs> that's difficult. <laughs> one standing out, that's uh, where they forgot to make, um, uh, we played in, uh, in Brazil, and they forgot to make fans uh, behind the DJ booth. And so I was playing and jumping, and then I did one step back, and I fall off stage like three meters on concrete, so, and I'm still alive, so that, when that sticks, sticks in my head, uh, probably Gaston can tell something more positive. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel so bad. <laughs> Do you have anything positive? Yeah, what well, I thought was very positive, that he was still alive, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think one of the, like the, the, 
first amazing experiences with our music being played was there was this famous uh, club in, in Amsterdam in the beginning of the 90s and uh, when we had just released Give It Up by the Good Men, it was like a Brazilian house record with a Brazilian intro like a tan 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 dun, 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 with big drums. Uh, and we, like we went out for the first time since we made this record and then all of a sudden, you know, all the people in the club were, when the DJ stopped the music, all the people in the club were like drumming uh, our, our track on, on like the, the blocks of wood and uh, like the podium and we're like, what, what is going on? We couldn't yeah. believe this was happening because it was our first record, you know, so that was like incredible to experience uh, that people would, would like our record or love our record and we're like, hmm, maybe we should do more of this, you know, <laughs> make more records, kind of like this. Awesome, you guys are so passionate and you can tell that you just love what you do. It was awesome chatting with you guys today and thank you for being here in Toronto. Such a pleasure meeting you guys. Lexi here with Love City TV, here you have it, Chocolate Puma.